What is good, YouTube? It's your girl, Brings. It is November. <laughs> like, the second week. Second week in November. So you guys already know what that means. It is my favorite season. Coming up. And this year, we are actually redoing our Candyland thing. So, I am shopping for stuff. And I, even though I'm recording this, the second week of November, you guys will not see this video until like the, the 1st of December. Because it has to go for Vlogmas. Y'all already know this. So, um, but I will give you guys the rundown of how the decorations are going to go. So, TK decided on doing a SpongeBob tree this year. So, we are going to do his room. All types of SpongeBob stuff. And he is going to get... I'm trying to get him a blue tree. I'm going to get him a blue tree. And then I'm also trying to get like a, um, darn it. How do I put this? I'm trying to get like a lot of like, I'm trying to get a big SpongeBob plush and then also a big Patrick plush. Not too big. Cause you guys know they can become a little pricey. So I'm trying to get those. And then I'm also trying to get like a, um, sheesh. You guys know I'm going to be doing um, his SpongeBob decorations on my Cricut, or I might just vinyl them. It just depends. But either way, it's going to get done, you guys. So I feel like that is so freaking cute. Still see mommy. TK will mess with that if I get this. You know what? <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna get it anyway. Look at this. I feel like it should have been like a black Santa. That would have been awesome to see it as a black Santa. But it is what it is. It's still dope. It's still dope. Um, I'm actually pressed for time y'all, but I just wanted to give you guys the rundown so far of what these decorations are going to be like. So this room is going to be Spongebob and you guys know I'm also redoing his bedroom. And then besides that, um, I am also doing Winter Wonderland slash cotton candy for pretty much the rest of the house. Sorry. So... <laughs> So, Cotton Candy and Candyland will be the base of, like, my bedroom and the third room. And then for the rest of the house, it'll probably be a mixture of both of them. Those are so cute. It'll be a mixture of both of them. And I'm just trying to make it work, you guys. So, I have to get new stockings. I have to get a new um, tree skirt. All of that stuff to kind of blend in with... The thing you guys know what i can actually buy some plain stockings from dollar tree and just do the stockings based off of my colors because they're not going to have any any stockings that's the color that i'm looking for so yeah that's not going to work but we're going to make it work because we got this I was gonna say I'm probably the only fool in here buying stuff, but I'm clearly not. <laughs> clearly not the only person in here buying Christmas stuff, y'all. I wish they had a jumbo SpongeBob in here. I don't really don't have a lot of time today. That's why I just kind of bring you guys with me to kind of peep everything that's going on in here. Um, I like to, to come to the store first before I start making. That's cute too. 
I like to come to the store before I actually start buying stuff off of Amazon because when I start buying stuff off of Amazon, it gets a little pricey and I wind up spending more than I intended on spending. So like if I can find it in store for a cheaper price, ooh, what top of that is messy. For a cheaper price, but I'll fix it. I know what to do for it. Um, as I was saying, you guys, for a cheaper price, then I'm going for it. Um, so in the living room, like I said, it's going to be a mixture of Candyland and Winter Wonderland. And we are just going to decorate the heck out of that tree. These are a lot of cute Candyland stuff with like icicles and candy ornaments. Now you guys probably remember it, remember this thing from when I did it before I moved. But this time it's gonna be a little different. I had it kind of where it was like icy at the top, going down to being um, the candy portion. This time it's just gonna be a mixture of all of that and I'm gonna frost the tree in the tips so that it all kind of blends in and makes more sense. So we're looking at pinks and purples and blues, um, other colors if they're in, like other colors if they happen to be in like the decorations. But you guys, I'm excited. It's gonna be lit. It's going to be lit. I'm really looking forward to redoing this this year. It's long overdue, and you guys know I still have stuff up in the kitchen for um, on top of the cabinet. So we're gonna make that work as well. And I gotta hurry up and check out y'all. So I gotta pick up TK. And I think that's pretty much all we're gonna get for this tree. I'm about to go check out the trees real quick. And then I'm going to roll out. So like I said, we're pressed for time now. I don't know if you guys remember, but I had trees that I had outside, like on the porch. And when I moved, like the landlord pretty much busted them up and put them out for the trash. And like I was coming to get them that next day, like they wasted no time getting in there. So now I don't have those small trees anymore and I have to replace them. And if you guys watch my video from Last year, that's kind of where the, um, that's kind of where the, um, big sparkly hanging trees came from because I had to replace those, but then those kept falling over. So I was like, this is just a pain in the behind. I want to try to find an eight foot white tree because I seen this tutorial on how you could paint them. And if I can find the eight foot white tree, I'm gonna paint it pink, and then I'm going to frost the tips of it so that it's six foot pre-lit. See, they're all too small. Is this silver? You guys. You guys. All right, so I, that is a huge white tree. That forty nine six point five, pretty lit. Four foot, six foot. I think this is the one that I got home the first time, and it has the snow on it. Yeah, it has the snow on it. I think that's the right one. I don't know. 39. All right, we're gonna get one. Cause I already know that I'm gonna hate taking out uh, those Christmas trees. Mm. All 
All right, y'all come over to the decorations real quick with me. We're outside and then we're gonna roll out and we will be back and commence this video probably Wednesday, but we'll see. Like last year, I did not get to do my icicle lights because I don't have a ladder. Nobody could hang them for me. It sucks. But we made it work. Like I just kind of draped them on the tree and called it a day. We made it work for the most part. But other than that, y'all, like I really don't know what else to get. I know for her SpongeBob tree, I'm gonna do blue and white lights. We got an alligator. We got a dinosaur. Mm. Check out these, you guys. That's 54. That color blue snowman. Giant ornaments. Like, I've been looking at some of these online too. That's only $12.98. Those giant ornaments. So I have to compare those with what I found online. And do a reindeer. I know I had the Santa. Jumbo lights with stakes on the ground. Happy holiday sign. Bridge. Hmm. I might as well grab some some more blue lights while I'm in here. some of these spiral trees too was it like a set of two now they only got it in ones to make more money of course I'm look at this bus and then we are out of here one year I do want to try to do like a real tree but I just feel like it's gonna be a lot of work to do a real tree For the fact that it's going to be a lot of work to do a real tree <laughs> like all in all that is the main main concern it's going to be a lot of work see like these are really cute but the thing is i actually found a tutorial on how to do those y'all um with dollar tree items so that's going to be another tutorial for you guys to see how I bring together those with like a candy land, candy land theme. So you guys, I'm about to check out. That is going to be the end of this segment of the video. I know I have a lot of editing and cutting to do for this because of the silence and all that stuff. But just wanted to bring you guys first day shopping with me. So I'll see you guys again on this video. Wednesday or Friday. See you soon, guys. Welcome back, you guys. So we are now going to another store. It is now Friday. But of course, you guys, like I told you at the beginning of this video, yes, I do have my wig on, y'all. My fall wig is on. We will not be posting this until December 1st. And people are making me really anxious with this because people are already posting like Christmas videos already and i'm like i want to post my christmas videos but no y'all we gotta hold out look at these big vultures oh bruh gross i hate it when dead stuff is in the middle of the street because these vultures just come out like no tomorrow and it's disgusting but anyways you guys we are heading to dollar tree and then after that we are heading to city tree in um because them and burlington are the only two stores now that have christmas freaking layaways and why they would take it away from Walmart knowing good and well that Walmart has the best toy selection seems to really bother me because Ho 
post COVID, like that's everything everybody was doing for Christmas. Like they have the best selection, especially if you have little kids. You can put your toys and stuff on Lilway, pay it off as you go, and then kind of move from there. And I don't like the fact that they kind of got rid of that. And like, it's a really huge inconvenience for one, huge inconvenience, you guys. Um, because although City Train and Burlington have railways, they don't really have the selection that everybody is like looking for. And especially if it, when it comes to toys, they don't have the toy selection that everybody is looking for. So with that being said, like they're cutting off help for like mothers. And I love um, Burlington Railways. Um, the year before last, you guys, um, a lot of like famous sports people, <laughs> a lot of famous celebrities that did sports were actually buying out railways anonymously. So I had my whole Burlington $300 railway paid for by an anonymous celebrity, which was so dope. Something that I had never experienced before in my life. And like, I just couldn't believe that that was happening, but it happened. Like, and not only that, they were buying up Walmart railways too. And that is the final year that Walmart had railways, which sucks. And I want to say this was like, it wasn't last year's Christmas, but I think it was the year before Christmas. So we're talking back in 2020 is when they did this, which was like amazing. And like it saved me money because then I could put the money that I was going to pay on that railway on other stuff, which was like I said, amazing you guys. But <laughs> we are heading to Dollar Tree first because I always go to Dollar Tree to buy things for like decorations like I really don't need any more stuff for decorations but I seen these DIYs on um, YouTube one of them was for like lighting Christmas tree boxes like I want to put some of those in the house this year um, I had a set when we lived around the corner back in like 2019 you guys and I don't know what happened I had them outside and then when I put them in storage to take them out like they no longer lit up anymore so I had to throw them away which had I known what I know now I would have just put some more freaking lights in <laughs> and made it made it easier on myself because they were already crafted into a box like present and now I have to pretty much do it from, from scratch and if Dollar Tree does not have these metal oven racks that people have been using in these Dollar Tree videos to form the, the Christmas tree boxes. Like, I'm going to be SOL. And I at least want to make three sets of them. The only thing with that is, like, the metal racks come in one size. So, all the boxes are going to be the same size. Unless I, for some reason, just decide to do something different. Um, like, I could fake some presents and just put them under the tree but like people are going to think those are real presents and try to open them and then they're going to be surprised once they do open them and they get this big thing of paper <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's not a good option you guys but i just did a lot of rambling for five freaking minutes so i am going to jump back on here once we reach dollar tree so you guys can see their kind of selection i think i'm going to go to two of them honestly because there's a bigger one down the street i probably should have went to that one first one but there is a bigger one down the street that i want to check out as well depending on time we will get that in like it's currently 112 so we have enough time i don't start work until three o'clock and i literally have two hours so if i don't take 20 years doing shopping and looking for these clothes and city trends and another two years in Dollar Tree then we'll be fine I don't know if they can fit it can fit okay never mind all right yeah so that's how it's gonna go you guys so I'll jump back on once we're in this Dollar Tree see you soon all right guys so we are in Dollar Tree I'm looking at right now of course I just got some wrapping paper 
I'm trying to get wrapped. Candy inspired. And even candy inspired and like winter inspired. Because you guys know that is the theme that we're going for. This year I'm going to be doing like ornament walls. So I need hella ornaments to do these walls with. I think I'm just going to do one probably in the bedroom. And there's some fallen ornaments in the hallway. But yeah, we're getting ornaments. And of course Dollar Tree has these cute little pink ones. I'm always looking for. So I grabbed those. I don't see any more pink ones, so. Alright, yeah, so they don't. They have this new pink ones. I thought they did. Um, we're gonna grab some huge gift bags while we can. Because you never know. Towards the end, these start running out really quick. Huge gift bag. Huge gift bags. Oh, they got some blue. Bruh. We got some blue as well. Another thing that I was looking for was stockings. Because I really need stockings. I'm going to be doing some DIYs with stockings, y'all. Because nobody has... The stockings that I'm looking for. So, that being said, you just have to customize and do what you did on yourself. And that's exactly what I'm about to do, is do them myself. Customize some stockings. So I'm trying to find some plain ones that I can do with my Cricut. These people in TK's room. Some plain ones that I can do with my Cricut. But, like, they really don't have much in here. Especially in the colors that I need them in anyway. I'm not like, shit. There got some more pinks. Oh, geez, got something on it. I just want a plain stocking that I can customize. Oh, yeah. So, y'all don't have any customizable stockings. All right, hey, I know I do candy baskets as well to count. So we got some candy baskets. I have to find the inside. Put the basket in. I do not see anything to make these um these boxes with but then again I haven't gotten over to the um I haven't gotten over to the other section with the cooking stuff Oh yeah, I have to make a tree skirt too. It's another DIY project, y'all. Cause they don't make them how you want them. These are so pretty. Alright, 
probably go for the tree. Yeah. I think that's it. Oh. And we have this little section open. They have the mesh. Oh, I like some gold. I don't even know if we're going to be able to find what I'm looking for, though. These are perfect. Go ahead and grab all of these. I did say I was going to do some. For a couple of these this year. All right, y'all, so this video is going on like nine minutes. I am going to go ahead and finish up and check out. And then I will jump back on once we hit City Turner or the other Dollar Tree, if it's different from what this one is showing. So be back, guys. All right, guys, so here's the deal. <laughs> I was gonna go to the other tr Dollar Tree, but I've reached my max with this Dollar Tree. Sad thing is they did not have the stuff I needed to make the light up Christmas tree boxes. So sadly, we're not going to make the light up Christmas tree boxes because buying them from Amazon is like $30. It might even be 40 if I remember it correctly, but it's either 29 or 39. And the thing is, like I had Sezzle credit to buy it from Target, but you guys know how expensive Target is. So I was just going to buy a set of two. That way I could just put two randomly in the house in two different places but then i have not shopped at target in like ever but i remember like when i first had tk i had a gift card to target which i used and guess what you guys i never updated the address when i placed this new order so therefore the target order did not go through they actually wound up canceling canceling my light up Christmas tree boxes because of the address and like I literally wanted a replacement sent out but they said they couldn't send out a replacement which is funny because they were able to send out a replacement for two other items that were going to my old address and I'm like okay and like you don't want to be randomly just showing up when your package says it's delivered at an old address when somebody completely new lives there like that's just all out of whack y'all like who does that first of all they're gonna be like why are you here why are you getting my mail how are you gonna address that like i used to live here and i didn't update it um take the address for my new package <laughs> so but anyways y'all we are not going to the other dollar tree we are headed to um y'all know what i just came up with this interesting idea we are not going to the other other dollar tree y'all but we are going to um city trends so that's literally enough that's literally all that we have time for today so that's where we're heading now and see how much this railway is going to be next week we'll tackle a burlington railway but this week i am tapped out after this i'm tapped out so that's probably after the city trend visit that's probably going to conclude the video you guys because like I am running on a lot of tape video so yeah um so Burlington might have its own video which means it's might it might be short but it is what it is or I might just do city train and Burlington together and just conclude this video considering that it's outside decorations that's exactly what I'll do you guys so this is the end of this video. Bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video and then I will start a new video up when I hit City Trend for another Vlogmas video. Because that's how I do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for decorations. I'm so excited about this year. Like I just recently learned that Cricut print and iron on paper is like completely different. I always thought that it was like regular paper that you print off and then you just automatically transfer it onto the iron on but it's not it's a whole different type of paper that you have to purchase so i just purchased some of that um, i'm going to do tk's dad 
some custom Timberlands because his birthday is actually on Thanksgiving, you guys. So stay tuned for that video. This will not be up until after his birthday, thank God. So he won't even see it. I don't even know if he still watches my YouTube videos anymore, y'all. But anyways, he's gonna have some Terminator Timberlands that I just learned how, how I'm gonna do it with this print and I don't know, I don't, I don't know when she is. So I'm excited about that, y'all. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And then until next time, y'all, see ya.